Day three, we'll get underway with a bookmaker's handicap hurdle. It's a two mile five furlong, 0 to 120. Under is at the top for Marcel Liam Tenarlo, Darren Thompson, Lord North for Graham Clitterbot, Rabban Tant for Padraig Hogan, City Underground, Jim Murray, Miss Catalan, James Shea, Rock of Ages, Padraig Hogan, Roller Six, Craig Beckwith, Military Salute, Jim Murray, Market Leader, David Robertson, De Parque, Darren Thompson, Glamist, Alex Cherry, Parisian Chief for Graham Clitterbot, Archers, Rain, Paul Parsons, Athlumni Capilla, Adam Old, Midway Figure, Alex Cherry, Shambolic Paul Parsons and Takipi complaining in the bottom one for Derek Hinton. Big feel for this then and away they go. 18 of them heading towards the first of the flights of hurdles and the top weight under orders is going to lead them into it. And they'll get over it okay with under orders a couple of lengths to the good from the grey 10 Arlo in second. Lord North is also close up so to his military salute. They get over the second of the 14. They've got to take in this one. And... Under orders is in the lead. We have a big ask for a top weight to lead all the way. That's what he's going to try and do, it would seem. And a five length advantage. They go past the winning post, the full circuit of the track left ahead of them. And Ten Arlo is in second with his stable mate De Parker on his inside. Probably just about showing third market leader closest to us is also close up as they get over that third. But when they come round this turn, those horses on the inside should have the advantage over the ones on the outside. And it'll be under orders who leads. With Ten Arlo second, De Parque third, and then Parisian Chief and Miss Catalan. Then comes Rock of Ages and Midway Figure. Oh, two of them caught a little bit wide, as you can see there. Market leader was right up there in the van before the turn. The one in the David Robertson hoops, turquoise, and mauve. And he's now right towards the back. So it's under orders. I'm showing the way into the final two miles. And leads by four or five lengths to Ten Arlo. In second, Miss Catalan is now third as they get over the fourth. Of course, they all skip over nicely with Glamis, just the back marker. And the leading three remain unchanged with Parisian Chief just about fourth ahead of the park. Eh? Lord North is after that one wide on the track. Rabban Tantz is close to the front. Paul Parsons pair getting a bit closer as well. With Glamis still the back marker, but it's under orders and leads into the fifth. Stream over that one nicely. A bit of a slower jump by midway figure. But it's under orders who's still leading now. Miss Catalan's moving into second. Ten Arlo just dropped back into third. Then Archer's Rain is going well into fourth. With Parisian Chief and Roller Six as they get over the sixth. They're all safely over the sixth with Takabi complaining now being relegated to the back spot. A Thlumni Capilla is also towards the rear along with Military Salute as they get over the seventh. All still on their feet then after they've taken their first seven of the 14 hurdles. So they've got seven more to take and this is the eighth. And all safely over that one as well. And they can't pass the stand of the winning post again. They've got another, another circuit ahead of them. I can't mistake it. They said last time they got a circuit ahead of them. I meant two. And... Hopefully the jockey on under oars didn't miss me as well. I think she just won. They get to the ninth. Which they all skip over nicely. With under orders continuing to lead. And a four length advantage for pretty much all the race so far. But there's plenty close up in behind with chances. Just to consider the leader's got top weight. Miss Catalan is second. Tenalo is third. Then Parisian Chief Shambolics also moved forward. Archer's Rain is next, then Roller Six and City Underground. De Parque is next, Market Leader trying to creep a little bit closer. It's almost a back midway figure is now the back marker. But Under Orders is leading by probably only three lengths now. Probably the narrowest margin that leads been as Parisian Chief and makes a forward move into second. Miss Catalan still there in third as they get over the tenth. A uh, mistake by Ten Arlo at a pretty crucial time as well as seeing that one shuffle right down the back. And it's under orders. Four flights to get over still. Parisian Chief is in second. Miss Catalan is third. Market Leader has now got to a 
and more inside position in fourth. Then comes Military Salute. Rock of Ages is starting to run around the outside. Roller Six is still there. Tenalo is trying to get back into it after that mistake. Over the fourth last, they just went there, racing uphill now towards the third last. They're racing towards the turn for home as well. Three furlongs and three flights still to go. Under Orders is in the lead from Miss Catalan in second. This is the third last. Under Orders led over it, but the field are definitely closing. Miss Catalan is now within a length. In third place is Roller Six. Then comes Archer's Rain and now Miss Catalan goes on. Miss Catalan takes it up over the second last. Under Orders trying to respond under a big weight in second. Archer's Rain is in third. Then comes Market Leader and Shambolic Biparque. He's after that one. This is the final flight. And over it they go. And it's Miss Catalan and landed in the lead. But Shambolic is coming to challenge on the outside. And Shambolic's put ahead in front. Shambolic in front from Miss Catalan as they race up towards line. It's Shambolic in the lead. Miss Catalan's back in second. But Shambolic is going to take it. Miss Catalan second. Market Leader third. Then Roller Six. Park after that one under orders drop back. Now I'm not sure if that's Paul Parsons' first win on the jumps. It might be. And he's took that quite comfortably as well. So shambolic the winner. For Paul Parsons. Cat Miss Catalan was second for James Shea. Market leader for David Robertson was third. Roller six for Craig Beck with fourth. And Paul Parsons was fifth as well with Archer's Rain. It sounds like my voice might be about to cave in. So let's hope we can get through the day before the hunters.